one other section of Baidol because everybody has their own favorite part of Baidol, and you can all think individually about what your favorite part is. But D David and I have had our, our back and forth on this enough times that, 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 that we know what each other's favorite parts of Baidol is. Our favorite parts are, yeah. We know what our favorite parts of Baidol are. And my, my favorite part is um, G1. So now you know. <laughs> but G1 is really important when you're doing, um, when you're the recipient of a federal subcontract. When the federal government is giving money to a big private company and then the private company turns around and issues a sub to your university. Many of you may have seen where um, what the company will then do is they'll say, and we expect you to assign all of your intellectual property to us, the big company. And so when, when they do that, um, that, 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 that's when I point to um, G1 and, and, and it's just in there that um, the, 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 the contractor will not, as a part of consideration for issuing a subcontract, gain rights in the subcontractor's intellectual property. So that's what we do. They, they ask for ownership of the intellectual property and we, 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 we show them that one little section of Baidol that says, oh, no, no, we, we retain ownership of the intellectual property that we develop with these federal flow through funds you don't get rights to our intellectual property by virtue of issuing a subcontract to us. And I'll bow my head too, David, because I, I know what you're going to say. What? I thought I knew what you were going to say. <laughs> you're going to have to tell me what I was going to say because I don't know what I was going to say. I, I thought you were going to say... You've, you've said it to me many times before. Even though it doesn't say that we have to assign uh, intellectual uh, yes. property. It doesn't say that you're prohibited to. from doing so. So for example, what it's basically saying is you cannot use a subcontract as a way to force a subcontractor to give IP rights. And if you say, for example, as the big company, you, we will not issue this subcontract to you unless you give us those rights, that itself is illegal. It says so in Baidol. So you can then report them to the US government as illegally trying to coerce you as a condition, that's the wording, as a uh -huh. condition of issuing the subcontract. You could choose, though, to volunteer your rights. Uh, you could be an entity that actually is willing to give up rights in order to get that, or there's some aspect, some other aspect of that contract, where you don't care about the rights. I mean, that's very unlikely, especially in a commercial, in a commercial transaction. Uh, what I mean is commercial entity to commercial entity. Um, I don't know of any universities that would, at least research universities, that would be willing to give that up. But the wording, the way it's worded is, shall not as a condition of issuing the subcontract. But if they don't make it a condition and you simply volunteer, if they ask and you say, okay. I could imagine situations where Penn State would volunteer to give it up, especially if we didn't think that there was any real commercial, commercializable IP resulting from a scope of work. We're, we're expected to be a little loose on that point, so we're not getting stuck in a two-month-long negotiation. If we are reasonably confident that we don't just have a dishonest PI telling us that there's not going to be any intellectual property, but we've got some independent reason to believe that even though there's always intellectual property, it's not really lucrative, commercializable intellectual property. We can maybe just give it up rather than having a big argument over it. Mm -hmm. So that is a stance that, 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 that we have taken at times. But I guess the way the dance goes with this clause is first the company says, we want your IP, and then we show them the buy dole clause that says you will not, as a part of consideration for issuing a subcontract to us, get right in our intellectual property. And then they say, well, you could choose, even though we can't require you to, you could choose to give us the intellectual property. And then we say, um, no, we choose not. And then if they yank the subcontract, then what they've done is they've made it consideration. They've said, it's this for that. 
if you want the subcontract, you have to assign us IP rights. And that's when they've crossed the line and violated Baidol. <laughs>